I was sitting out here in the shed, wind blowing, power went off like normal. So welcome to Blue Bike Noise Channel. I just got a telemarketer and I just, you know, watch the video. Yeah. Okay, so at this time, I'm going to bring a license number to the people on the other line to go over all the information with you. Please call the department. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for holding. My name is Tabitha, one of the authorized agents. Can you hear me, okay? Yeah. Another easy receiver transfer to me is because your Ford is at the cutoff point to be eligible for full coverage. Just to verify on this recorded line, have you had any fluid leaks or mechanical problems that have been unreported with your vehicle? Uh, no. Nah. Okay. Now, have you had any aftermarket modifications to this vehicle, such as lift kits, lower kits, or turbos? Nah. Now, to place coverage on this vehicle, can you please verify the year, make, and model? Yeah. You want it now? You don't have it on record? Oh. You said it. You, you gave me the record, 2010 F100. Okay, they had here a Ford Ranger, sir. I was about to say there is no existing Ford Ranger 2010. That's why we needed you to verify that okay. vehicle because that information did not pollute over correctly. Yeah, it's a F-150. Yeah, it's F-150 Ranger. Okay, sir. And about how many miles is now on this vehicle? Uh, around about 80. About 80,000? Okay. Okay, wonderful. Well, it sounds like this vehicle is still in good running condition. And then, with that being said, this is the final application offer on the table to be able to give this vehicle an additional five years of care. Now, in that full five-year term, we will be putting this forward in the highest level of coverage that is available. What this will be covering, sir, will be your engine your transmission, transfer case, the drive axles, air conditioning unit, heating, cooling, and fueling systems, as well as all your seals and gaskets. It, it, it doesn't have sir, a transfer case. Of course it does, sir. Does it? Because it's a two-wheel drive, four-wheel yes. drive. Got a, uh, see, mine's a two-wheel drive. It don't, it don't have a transfer case. Transfer case means you can put it well, in four-wheel drive. No, it's a two-wheel drive. Okay, but... Well, Okay, well, this also covers two-wheel and four-wheel drive, because I know for sure you'll have that transfer unit, because that's where your bearings and bushings and sprockets and chains and sleeves are. It's got chains? And, of course, not to hurt. It's all drive shaft. It ain't yes. no chain. Well, it covers any and all vehicles, sir, and some of these units might be in the vehicle and some of them are not. So some vehicles got chains now. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Now that. Now that's under the transfer unit, sir. That's going to be all the internal lubricant parts, and that is including the bearings, bushings, sprockets, chains, sleeves, shift forks, gears. That does exclude the electrical items. But this will cover everything electronically and mechanically in your vehicle for the next five years. And most importantly, it's covering that expensive electrical system, which will be the key to keeping this vehicle running for the next five years. Majority of repairs do derive from the electrical components of this vehicle, and they tend to be the most costly. And it's due to the fact that unlike the engine and transmission, those two things can be rebuilt. The electrical components cannot. They have to be taken out, reprogrammed, and then replaced. So whenever you do need a repair for your vehicle, we recommend that you take it down to any Ford dealership because we pay the claims directly to the Ford manufacturer. Or you can take it to any ASE certified mechanic of your choice as well. Can now, I take it to myself know, because I'm a that. certified mechanic? So can I take it to myself or to my shop? Okay. Because I'm a certified well, mechanic, you do, sir, certified you YouTube have... mechanic. So well, I... course... would you yes, pay sir, me to keep my own vehicle up? That... Because I'm a certified no, YouTube mechanic. Yes, I went we to YouTube University, so I can. Certified mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So well, you'll pay you'll pay me to fix my own vehicle. Because I got my own no, shop. I'm not going to pay you to fix your own vehicle. How, why why do I need to take it to another shop when I went to YouTube University and got my own ABS certification to do all my own work and own my own shop? I don't make sense to me. Well, then let me ask you. 
Well, then let me ask you this. If I'd be I'm like nurse, paying my kids. I'm a registered nurse. Can I do my own stuff? Do I not have to pay a hospital bill since I doctored my own self? Well, see, so do you own a hospital? Because that's apples and oranges. Yeah, see, I'd be paying my cu customers to fix my own vehicle when I can fix it myself. That's, this no, don't so make sense. Pay, if you work in a mechanic shop, then you're going to know. I own my own, 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 own shop. Are. Yes, or I own my own LCD. place. Yes. Yeah. So the underwriter to the warranty administration that pays the claims directly to the Ford. Yeah, this sounds like a ripoff to me. Goodbye. Warranty. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> YouTube University. For the win. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Because I went to YouTube University. <laughs> oh, me. I, I, you know, I was, fixing, I was trying to make it short. and They called about three times so far from different numbers. Same people. You go check out that video there. That one there. Hit the subscribe button over here and give me a thumbs up. Maybe the power will come back on in a minute.